Right, I know that's Car Noir, but what is that? Well, we're just down the road from Theatre Royal, which hosted Swan Lake many years ago, and it feels like it's come back here. There's a poignant scene in Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, Matthew, uh -huh. where Siegfried, our protagonist, sees the beautiful maiden Odette metamorph from a swan into a vision of exquisite beauty. Okay. When Car Noir gets going, think of that, but in reverse. Well, it starts off beauty, but can be a beast. Well, Car Noir is currently a debutante. Let's see, he will metamorphosize like Siegfried into a winner tonight. Nice. What about that gun? I know the ugly, ugly duckling. Is that it's it's basically the ugly duckling with ballet. Right. Not that I'm calling Car Noir an ugly duckling, of course. You can be a Swan Lake, an ugly duckling, a Batman Forever. When you're the when you're Jack like Car Noir, you can do whatever the hell you like. Do you know what? If we keep bugging Car Noir, maybe we'll get like a we'll, we'll get a grant from the from the from the council for arts and theatre. Ma Not sure about Matthew, what you theater, but you can definitely play an instrument on those abs. Uh, Mark Coffey, I do not know his opinions on opera, um, Swan Lake or otherwise. I know that he likes punching people really hard in the face. <laughs> it's a form of art, isn't it? Mm. You will not see a match like this anywhere else, though, Matt. Uh, well said. I mean, maybe Car Noir versus Rory Coyle will be a dream match one day, just so we can spend half an hour trying to explain what's happening. Uh, for now, Mark Cothy has the mental mind games of that beautiful performance got into his head. Will he not want to attack Car Noir because you don't want to ruin the illusion or break that pretty face? Let's find out. I don't. I don't want either the either competitor to take this the wrong way. But this very much feels like Beauty and the Beast here at North Wrestling. We have Car Noir. Coffey would appreciate that. Ka Car Noir, well, Car Noir, and, and Mark Coffey. You can't find two people from more opposite sides of the tracks. Mark Coffey is a beast. In every sense of the words, he will fight you to the end. And here's Cara Noir with obviously a mean streak, but certainly, certainly something very different to North Wrestling. Mark Coffey possibly more hesitant than he would usually be. How would you go into a match with somebody like Cara Noir? I think it was Nick Foley's first book. Oh, he's got glitter on him. He has. I think it was Mick Foley said in his first book that he, he entered a room and he saw Al Snow and um, he was meditating naked. He said he'd rather take on 50 violent skinheads in a fight than one naked younger guy because he would know how to deal with the violent people. He would know what to do with, with that guy. <laughs> with a naked Al Snow. Right, and for some reason I'm reminded by that fact. Uh, I would rather be kicked in the head <laughs> three times by Mark Coffey than go five seconds with Karen Noir because I do not know that. Guy. Incidentally, I like the fact that you were shocked that he had glitter. Three minutes ago, this man unfailed wings. <laughs> like a peacock. Mark, yeah, Mark Coffey is trying to blend in with the crowd now. I think if either man are going to blend in with the crowd, I think Mark Coffey's going to blend in better. Oh, yeah. Car Noir's not the advantage of blending in with the crowd. Oh, but look at this Car Noir offering Mark Coffey to get back into the ring. Up your gun. This is, this is an incredible way to end 2018 here at North Wrestling with two performers like this. And, and we talk a lot about the aesthetics, but I'd like to focus on the fact that both of these guys are incredible performers in their own right. Is he, is he, is he actually been... Will he... Tent. He did. Great show of respect by Cara Noir. But you see that Mark Coffey is losing this match. Mark Coffey at the second guess. He wasn't sure what Cara Noir was going to do. He hasn't even done anything yet and he's already winning. They've, they have he's only just team. met and Cara Noir has rented an apartment in the head of Mark Coffey. Oh, beautifully put. Tchaikovsky said that. It's part of Swan Lake. It's a bit where she rents an apartment. I'm oh, sorry, I was friends. I always get those two mixed up. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. So it's the mind games. And Coffey says, enough of that! How do we, he says. Mark Coffey just hoying Cara Noir out of the ring and into the North Faithful. Look at Cara Noir smiling. Cara Noir is... is... Oh, oh. Right. There we go. Not, not, not to pun, but what's good for the goose? And Cara Noir doesn't know whether to, to trust this particular gander. Now, Cara Noir held the rope for Mark Coffey earlier. Is. Ten. 
great scenes here. And Mark's Lenny. Great show of respect oh, by wait, Mark. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, look at this. This oh. is oh. oh. And they're booing the lack of kiss at North Wrestling. That sounds about right. Big punch to the face of Mark Coffey, and this is where Coffey is in his element. He will fight you in that ring, and he will fight you forever. Big punch to the face of Cara Noir. Again, saying the swan at the outside, near leg in the pool. In the pool. Mark, no, no, no water in the lake. I mean, there is a lake in the pool. It's a metaphorical. Mark Coffey now stalking Cara Noir, and Big stop pushing down the unorthodox Cara Noir. Mark Coffey, all this attention on Mr. Swan Lake, but Mark Coffey, uh, known as the underrated Mark Coffey by many. Uh, however, you can only go and call the underrated for so long until people give up expecting from you. Well, this is, it's always going to be an issue when your brother is Joe Coffey. When your brother is the Iron Man, Joe Coffey. One of the most decorated performers in ICW history. And before Mark Coffey gets angry watching this on NorthWrestling.PivotShare.com, I do want to say Mark Coffey, a former three-time ICW Zero G champion, a four-time ICW Tag Team champion, He's got a huge, huge litany of championship accomplishments. I don't think Mark Coffey uh, should be rate underrated. I think he deserves to be rated. I've only one man can rate him, and that's himself. And a beautiful neck crank and... Shades of Doink the Clown. That's a, that's a Doink the Tom. Clown stump puller. I mean, watch, I know you're right because I'm a sad nerd. I've been watching a lot of... Been watching a lot of 1993 Monday Night Raw lately. That's right. He's stump puller... Finisher, um, sadly famously known by <laughs> the good one. The actual, yeah, the decent doink. The Not the underrated doink. <laughs> anyway, multiple Irish whips in the corner oh, here. Mark Coffey overpowering Cara Noir. Mark Coffey knows this needs to be a power game in his court if he wants to defeat Cara Noir. For Matthew, actually, both of these guys, this is a huge match. First night at North Wrestling, they want to make an impact in one of the most talked about promotions in the United Kingdom. Right, everyone wants to join North Wrestling. It's like all the elite that actually exist. Oh, it's our drop kick. Just about managed to make my copy gun the corner. And here we see, here we see Siegfried powering up. Here we see the beautiful maiden Odette morphing from a swan into an ass kicker. All right, Morrow. Anyway, it's not me. You have to have a physique for opera, whereas coffee has a physique for wrestling. Oh, and a, and, a, and a kick to the head that absolutely was on the money. Right, I think the only upgrade really was the Nutcracker. South German suplex. No bridge, all impact. Oh, super kick by Cara Noir. Takes down Mark Coffey. That could be it. That would have been the biggest win in the career of Cara Noir. Who has wrestled some incredible people for as long as he's been around, but nobody like Mark Coffey. I say, oh. Kind of sister promotion, which I always mention them. Riptide, a hell of a name for himself, on it in Brighton. Oh, for a Rick Rude style delayed neck break of that. And again to the outside. Delay for oh, too long. long. Baseball slide by Mark Coffey, and once again out amongst the North Faithful we go. And to remind everyone, Mark Coffey's legs are made from girders. It's the same stuff they built the Time Bridge out of, so I'm told. And then Scottish upper foot. Oh my god, that'll turn you up! Oh, pluck your feathers! That's the belt. The Polish hammer, which hasn't been a finisher since the late 80s, <laughs> nearly brought back to the 2018 by Mark Coffey. Like I said, made from girders. Ooh. Pump handle, power slam, maybe. No, Cara Noir bounces out of it. Oh, hmm. another Rick Root delayed neck breaker. Nails it this time! Simply ravishing! Oh, look at Cara Noir, that, that steely Pagliacci demeanor has now washed away. Frustration over the face. That most one look. It's, it's, it's more sort of like, like historical clowns. Pagliacci, I believe, was the first clown. Oh, I'm on my depth here. <laughs> it's, I'm only doing this so North Wrestling can get an arts and theatre grant. So we can, you know, oh, we spend a bit more money next year. Oh. Oh, oh he saw that coming. 
Trademark move by Mark Duffy. I can't! Oh, what's he doing? He's licking his face! Oh. Tastes like Iron Brew, we understand! Oh, and a big forearm! Cara Noir was looking for that package pile driver! Didn't get it! Did very well to block it, though. Oh, oh my face. God! Oh, right in the face! If Carlsberg did it to Garris! for Cara Noir what a showing by Mark Coffey well, we need to check that the Cara Noir still has a nose his makeup's not running but neither is he I tell you he, Mark Coffey able to overcome the riddle wrapped in the enigma that was Cara Noir by kicking him right in the fucking face that'll do it <laughs> that'll do it